Hey, what's up, fam? It's Peggy and the Don. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we out here. Another late start. We haven't been walking in a while. We missed a few days. We're supposed to do this at least five times a week, but we're back on track. We don't, did at least three last week. Yeah, don't give up on us. We're going to do this. We're going to get this dang done. Get this thing done. It's I'm, hot already. It feels like it's 90 degrees. I'm sure it's not, but that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. I just feel blessed to be outside, get some fresh air, some sun. I'm telling you right now, when you're locked up in the house and tensions run high, exercise is the answer, I think. Tensions, tensions are running high. It is not us. <laughs> but when you quarantine in close quarters and stuff, it's, it gets rough sometimes. You get frustrated. You want to go out and do something. You want to go do things. Well, get outside. Get a walk in. Find you a walking buddy. Find you a walking buddy or a partner. Have y'all noticed every time we walk up that hill? By the time we get to the top, we're windy. Oh man, <laughs> it is no joke. You can tell the difference in the breathing and the talking. Yeah, it's a little on the warm side, but it feels great. You gotta stick to this. So we're at the beginning of lap one. We'll see y'all halfway around. Cause my arm already tired holding this phone up. <laughs> see ya. See you later. Hey, what's up, y'all? We back. <laughs> we just finished bad guy heel number two. <laughs> so I feel like I can talk a little bit once I catch my breath. Right. How you doing back there, baby? I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it now. <laughs> she got this. So the other day we was doing some car talk and Peggy bust me out. She said while she's in there shopping, I'm out in the car playing Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go too. Yeah, she do play Pokemon no Go. Deal. Exactly. <laughs> but see, Pokemon Go rewards you for walking. <laughs> you turn your little phone on. And you get to make your little you make your little monster stronger for walking. And so since I like fighting, I like fighting my little Pokemon that is against other people's Pokemon. I want to make them stronger. So that's an added reward for walking. Oh, Let me tell y'all something. It's so hard walking with Donald. He got his keys in his hand, his wallet in his hand, his phone in his hand. <laughs> And I'm just sitting here like, who does that? Who does? <laughs> See, what I should be doing is bringing water with me. That's what no, I need what to be doing. What you should be doing is having empty hands, brother. <laughs> and then how are we going to record? <laughs> well, just a phone. I need a, what I need is a little selfie stick that hangs in front of my head or something. Yeah, but you don't need your keys in your wallet. I do not. <laughs> I do not. Still warm. We got to stop doing these late starts. 7.30 is going to be our new time. 8.30 is just a little too late in the summertime. Morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Yeah, 8.30 is a little too late in the summertime. Y'all left my head, man. Oh, And yeah. the sweat is in my eye. Uh. <laughs> and Donald's walking fast today. He ain't playing fair. But that's okay. I don't know what it is, but round two is when I get my energy. She and does. And I'm going to smoke him like a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking big stuff this morning. Yep. I might have to show her up with some of this military training. I might have to show her up. What you got, player? What you got, player? Bring it. Bring what, it. What she going to do then? Because look at me. Look, I'm breathing good. Talking okay. clear. Okay, let's see what you say up, up this hill. <laughs> see, we're going downhill right now. Yeah, downhill is easy for the big dude. Yeah. Well, y'all should see him going uphill. I ain't know nothing we be looking crazy in these videos, walking fast. Ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing like a chicken wing. Is that, is that how it go? Nobody says that since the 70s, maybe <laughs> the late 80s. <laughs> ain't nothing but a thing but a chicken wing. And that ain't even how you oh, say it. Oh, ain't nothing. What is it? How does it go? However it goes. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> what is it? Ain't no thing. Yeah, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. And that don't even make sense. It don't make sense, but that's what we used to say. 
Boy, you showing your age this morning. <laughs> Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Okay, well, she's starting to run now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just walking at a brisk pace. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I got him. I'm sticking with it this time, y'all. I don't always do it. This time, I'm going to make it. See you on the second round. Hey, fam. Hey, y'all bet not underestimate Peggy. <laughs> she was talking about doing the steps again. <laughs> she was talking about it. Every extra step counts. Okay? So I'm finna hit these steps, y'all. Oh, she gonna do it? Yep. Oh, I thought she, she was just talking about it. Rocky music. <laughs> and there she goes. She gonna do the steps. Do it, baby. Look at that. <laughs> she just showing off now. <laughs> Ooh, I hope I got all that on camera. Here she comes, y'all. That's my baby doing it. Doing her thing. <laughs> it's a lot of woo. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I know what everybody gonna say now. Dang, the Don, why didn't you do the steps? Uh, uh, yeah. Let me tell y'all something. I was not smart <laughs> on my part. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That might have sapped a little bit of her energy today. Maybe you won't do the extra lap at the end. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, see? If I don't run it, I'm going to walk it at least. There's no stopping them. <laughs> Talk me out of that next time. Yeah. Just I'm, be like... I'm going to put the applause sound effect right there. Yeah. Applause Ooh. for my baby. We usually do, uh, what, what, two and a half K? in about 23 minutes. I think we did the first one like 22. And we're in our 50s so. though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm in my 50s. I'm close enough. He's a young whippersnapper. Yeah. Uh-oh, the secret reveal. Pay got me by a couple years. Six to be precise. Five and a half. Six. <laughs> She's a cradle robber. Good morning. Good morning. She was a cradle robber. Help me, Lord. <laughs> what Pop used to say on the way is, help me, please. <laughs> help me, please. Help, help me, please. please. Uh, All right, y'all. Let's get this done. One more circle. All right. For those of y'all familiar with the channel, y'all know Peggy got this ritual where she do an extra lap around the pond. And I usually just stand at the side and make some smart comments or something. Snarky. <laughs> but not today. Today, I'm going with her. What? I'm going with her. Oh, I'm not going to be able to talk. But I hope we got that big vapor room, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. I'm gonna flip it around so we can see Peggy, cause I ain't talking on this one. Take me your arms, do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you, and I'll always be around when I need some love and baby, and I'll never let you down. Let you down, let you down I'm your song And you're playing all my melodies There's no one else Cause baby we got chemistry You give me feelings that Feelings that I never knew This heart of mine will always and forever Belong to you You and me were meant to be as one The universe has known it all Maybe this is where our story starts Maybe it was written in the stars Written in the stars You and me forever, yeah You and me Written in the stars You and me forever, yeah You and me
cool down to the car. <laughs> and we did it. How about that? He did everything today, y'all. I did it all. Feeling like a champ. Great way to start the rest of my day. Peggy doing a cool down. And we're going to head to the car. Good stuff, baby. Yeah, we know we're recording. <laughs> Are we? Yeah, but, but these folks tired. My head heavy, y'all. Can't even lift it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I swear. Sorry, y'all. I, I can't help it. I got to rub this sweat off my face because I'm getting salt in my eye. <sighs> that was a good one. That, was, that might be my best walk. That has been your best walk since we started. I got to give props where it's due. <sighs> Gotta give you credit, baby daddy. I'm not back to military, no way near it, but uh, I can see that on the horizon, getting back to that military conditioning. <sighs> so thanks to the uh, little walking app, that was more than 2.5, that was 2.65. We've been shortchanging ourselves. Oh, we might as well make it, wait, <laughs> 2.65? Yeah. Twice? Yep. That's it? <laughs> 5.3K is more than three miles. That's almost three and a half miles. I don't know the exact calculation, but it's almost three and a half miles. So what is 2.65? What are you saying? 2.65K. Oh, I didn't hear, I didn't hear the K. Oh, yeah. I'm like, we better get back out here and do another couple of laps until that thing say three nah. and a half miles. Yeah, we did. We did more than three and a half miles. Yeah, let me share something with you about this man that I'm married to. I, I just got to do it. Let me... Mm. Come into the light, Carolyn. Come into the light. Okay, listen. I always tell Donald, I'm like, when we're out, no matter what it is, check my clothes, make sure my skirt is not tucked in my underwear, make sure I ain't got nothing on my mouth, make sure, you know, my weave is popping when I wear it. He never does. I mean, I know women, we inspect, and if we see something, we move, and we do that. But I'm like, we've been married 14 years. Can you look at a sister? Please. Now, we get around our second lap, and I felt really uncomfortable, but I left the house not in a good mood this morning. I can't tell you what the first one was, but the second one was because we were rushing. Mm -hmm. When you rush, you, lose, you leave things. I left my headband. I need my headband because when I'm done walking, I can squeeze out all the water. And I'm like, oh, successful day. Well, today, all the water had to drip on my shirt. So as we were rounding up halfway in our second lap, he goes, hey, is your shirt on backwards? I said is because I wasn't certain. I don't know. You see it choking me. Women's blouses are, <laughs> are have many many different styles. I felt, I, am. I felt uncomfortable, and I should have checked. I, I can't blame him, but I'm bl you know how you got to blame somebody? got to blame yeah, somebody. Well, I mean, you are the man. You should be looking at me. I checked your butt. But <laughs> <laughs> did. Butt, butt was fine. You know, your pants was good. It wasn't no underwear picking you out. You know how when you had your shirt on the wrong side and you could kind of feel it choking and choking. And this ain't even my shirt. This is his shirt. I just needed something loose this morning. I tell you what. So what we gonna do? We gonna pick out our outfits for our next walk. Uh, we, that, I'm this not ain't wearing... no outfit. You just <laughs> grab something and go. I'm not gonna do that. But This shirt is too heavy for me this walk. I gotta I got yeah, get a dry, fit, dry shirt. fit Dry fit is better. But yeah. I, I should have looked in for the tag I was just ready to get out there this morning because I'm telling you anybody listen to me if you got stress in your life you got shit going on and you need to relieve some stress go walking in the park at a brisk pace 15 15 minutes one way 15 minutes the next and if that don't do it go another 15 minutes I guarantee you when you leave that stress will be relieved I'm telling you from experience I know trust me if something got you upset like children husband not telling you about your shirt that ain't enough <laughs> but I'm just saying if you go for a brisk walk I'm telling you life will be grand because 2020 has been horrible this year I mean it started with Kobe we should have knew it was going to go down here yeah. from there but let me tell you something I need this walk 
every day. You I walk need on. it. I need it. I need, I'm telling you, it's a stress reliever. You've been in quarantine. People are just, when you're in the house, you're going to, I mean, when especially when you're on top of each other. Yeah. You're going to, ugh. that's why Donald has his space. He has to have that because he's not a, he don't like complaining. He is look at the glass has half full all the time kind of guy. Mm-hmm. And I'm a negative Nancy. I'm a fusser. I'm a cusser. Yeah, this sweet little lady pig, she cusses yeah. like a sailor. You wouldn't, I know you don't believe it. I know you don't. I know. <laughs> But I, I got to They believe it. No, they they believe it. They don't believe that. Y'all believe that? Yeah. I know y'all don't believe that. I don't believe about your curse words on our little videos. So. No, them not. those are the nice cuss words. Oh. I, pull, I can pull them out, ladies. But anyway, like I say, if you are in quarantine, I'm telling you, get out the house. Go for a walk. Um, t- this walk is not only for health reasons, but I mean, get out here and strengthen your lungs because, I mean... Don't look like coronavirus going nowhere for a couple years. Yeah. Get out here and strengthen your lungs. Get some fresh air. Now, I would suggest you get out and walk before 8 o'clock in the morning. We got to record our morning routine. It's funny as hell. But let me tell you something. I let, When Donald get out of the bed, like we go to bed at like 8, 30, 9 o'clock mm-hmm. normally. Sometimes we stay up to 10 pass our curfew mm-hmm. but we're up at like five six o'clock in the morning i can't help it but well that's what the army has done to him mm-hmm. but me when he get out of the bed i like to roll over to his side because it's nice and warm <laughs> and i can sleep for another whole hour and a half and he brings me coffee now this is a wonderful husband ladies i'm not bragging Uh-oh. but he is great because he'll bring me coffee to the bed in the morning so I can get up and get myself together. Now, he don't cook, he don't clean, but he'll bring me my coffee. That's all I ask because he, I'm t- I don't know what it is about the way he makes coffee, but That's not, it's like it, the the measurements <laughs> are like he needs we to We use be. a Keurig and yeah. we, it does the exact same thing for no. both but for some reason she is convinced that my coffee. It's, it's the amount of cream sugar ratio. Mm-hmm. Cream sugar ratio. He has the cream sugar ratio down pat, baby. Let me tell you something. This man right here, he is it a barista that makes coffee. That's what it is. That's what he should be. I'm telling you, he could be he could open up a coffee shop. His coffee is on <laughs> point. You heard what you I said. You can tell somebody love coffee when they decide a man is great because Ooh, of their coffee. Well, you that's just one of the many wonderful things. He say he don't cook, he don't clean, but he makes some good old coffee. Well, I mean, oh, well, I'm, I'm old school, so I'm cool with that, ladies. I don't have to. I mean, if I'm a housewife, if I'm a housewife, he should. No. Honestly, if I'm a housewife. And I'm a provider. And he is a great provider. Got to have both. Then I, he shouldn't have to cook and clean. Like, that's crazy. Like. I'm not going to ask him to do that. Now, sometime when his room get out of hand, I'm like, brother, brother. It's not that I don't clean. I will clean. She just got to say, Donald, could you clean that up? Donald, do you mind doing that? Donald, do you leave that out? I told y'all before, we play our favorite game. Does this belong here? <laughs> <laughs> you almost made me choke. <laughs> that is Peggy's favorite game. I never know when the game going to start, but every once in a while... She'd come in the room and start the game. Oh, you almost made me choke, <laughs> choke on that one. That was funny as hell. That's her favorite Does game. this belong? One, remember Sesame Street? One of these things do not belong here. Mm-hmm. I play that with him all day. Well, not all day because I try not to bother him. But like I say. Clutter is Peggy's thing. If he, if, if there was one pet peeve, if we were doing a little question and answer thing about each other, I would say clutter is Peggy's thing. Pet Clutter can change Peggy's mood big yes, time. Off topic, I'm about to shave my head again. How do you feel? And thanks for watching it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, no, I don't care. Baby, you are not your, you are not your hair. I was just uh, like, are you India Irene now? I'm not my hair. You are not. No, uh, listen. I cut my, I shaved my head bald right before I had my surgery because I'm like. And I cut it. Yeah, so you knew I was fine with it. But I grew my hair out because I thought we were going on a cruise. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I could wear braids because weaves, I mean, wigs are 
hot to me. But after when I wear a wig, I feel like my head, I, I feel like I have a stocking cap on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm going to grow my hair out and uh, put some braids in it. So I braided my hair and I'm just like, it's perfect for walking. It's perfect for this, perfect for that. These braids are heavy. I'm hot. I'm shaving my head tonight. I just can't do it no more. So next time you see uh, Peggy and Don, it's going to be a drastically different look. Looking for With two dudes. <laughs> <laughs> She's still beautiful. Listen, I love these talks because I can get out what I want to say. Mm. I don't have no friends. And I mean, I, I don't have any friends. I have a niece that comes down. She lives across the street in four houses down. Sometimes I talk to my kids because I never forged a really good friendship with anybody. Because when you get grown, you get busy. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have time. Like I was a widow at a young age and I had five small children I had to raise. So I went to church. I talked to people at church or whatever else. But <clears throat> I didn't have like hang out uh -uh. people i work with you know sometimes we go to happy hour and happy hour to us was going to a restaurant hanging out okay girl see you we might have went to six flags once a year we might you know but i didn't have no friend friendships it's like every time i opened myself to a friendship people became dependent can you watch my kids can you do and i'm like i don't i got enough on my plate right now i don't need somebody calling me with all their problems. I just, I can't. Donald and I, we try to do a lot, but right now we're stuck, like stuck, stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we normally get in the car and just go, like we'll be gone in the summer, especially in the summer because, you know, he just retired from being in the military for 26 years. Mm -hmm. And so in the summer when he doesn't have school, we travel, like we like to go. Like I want to be gone if I could be gone for three months, I would. I'm telling you, we had our summer already planned. We were going to take our cruise in May and June. We were going back. Well, my sister wanted us to go to Africa with her, but since the coronavirus stuff came down, we couldn't go. Then his mom passed and we couldn't go. And so we planned to go. This is what our plan is. We wanted to go back over to Europe and stay over there for at least three, four weeks. We had nothing to do. We had... Yeah saved for it we we're gonna go just have a great time and i promise you none of that happened we were so excited for this summer yeah and so we're kind of disappointed <laughs> and we're trying to make the best of it but we're just middle-aged people who like to ride and go so right now the most fun we've had this summer is coming to the park which is a good thing and we could drive over to Scott Air Force Base. That's about an hour's drive. We drove, listen, we drove over there about a month and a half ago. Yeah. Was it a month and a half ago? Yeah. And they turned us around. They was like, oh, if you don't live on post, you can't get on post. Lockdown. They were on lockdown. So, I didn't mean to get on here and run my mouth this much. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe he'll cut some of this out. I don't know. <laughs> I hope he don't. But if he does, I'm cool with it. But anyway, we love chatting it up do you have anything I got nothing I'm just I'm sitting here like Peggy, Peggy had a lot of stuff on her chest and I'm like well, I shoot. this was a rough morning for me y'all it was a rough let me vent let me vent see now I have vented mm -hmm. I'm fine and now today can be a great day and we stink we need to go hey did you get your Pokemon Ghost Men's oh yeah I did I got them see see it don't take much catch a Pokemon Go Yep. You got your Pokemon Go. But anyway, y'all, thank you for listening. Thank you for letting me rant. I hope you listen to the whole thing. Uh, he's, he's such a wonderful husband. I'm going to cook you breakfast. I'm going to make him a really big breakfast when we get home. He's going to get a bowl of Cheerios. And guess what? <laughs> he ain't going to just get Cheerios. He getting a honey nut Cheerios. Mm. What? Ain't nothing too much. Well, we're going to buy some groceries, though. We out of potatoes and everything for tomorrow. No, we're not. We got two potatoes in there. No, I just bought a whole bag. Somebody been eating them. No, they down on the oh, bottom okay. shelf. I saw them last night when I was cleaning the oh, kitchen. Oh, okay. Mm. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the video. Thumbs up, comment, like, share. All that good stuff. What she said. Hey, thanks, fam, for watching. We really appreciate this. And, uh... Hey, see you on the next trip. See ya.
Peace. Thank you.